so Daniel Dubois knocks out I think it's a Fujimoto in the second round with a brutal knockout. Tremendous shot by Daniel Dubois, right hand, and to say he punched through Fujimoto will be an understatement. Fujimoto at this minute in time is still down on the canvas. What a punch from Dubois. That was a bad knockout. You know, that was the full force of Daniel Dubois landing bang on Fujimoto's chin. It couldn't land it any cleaner. I'm watching the replay back of it now. Damn. This <laughs> This guy's dangerous. This guy is I know Fujimoto, he's not a world beater, but damn. Dubois has some heavy hands and he is a powerful, powerful unit. The first round started with Dubois, as he often does, getting the jab out. You know, Dubois has a very good jab. He actually had Fujimoto down in the second round from the jab. You know, that's how stiff and heavy it is. Now, to be fair, the knockdown of the second round, I do think Fujimoto's feet were a little bit square. I don't think his balance was properly there when he got dropped. But even still, to be dropping someone with a jab, it's impressive. It shows the weight and the snap and the power that Dubois has on those shots. It was the right hand that really just... It did it for me. I mean, my God. It was the full weight of Daniel Dubois landing on Fujimoto's chin. It just couldn't have landed any cleaner, any smoother. The minute I seen that punch land, I just thought Fujimoto went down in a heap. I knew straight away he wasn't getting back up. The referee waved it off straight away. And yeah, Fujimoto, he's still on the canvas now. It's not really much to assess from Dubois' performance. We know he's heavy-handed. We know he's a tremendous puncher. We know he's very physically strong. We know he's got a very good jab. Things we already knew about Dubois going into this fight. But the more we see him, like this last year, we've really seen him grow a lot. You know, he obviously had that fantastic performance against Kajanu, where he took care of him in clinical fashion. Um, you know, he's done a much better job than Parker did, done a much better job than Gorman did. Obviously then fought Richard Latte, and they had a nice little shootout. That was a great fight. Obviously he fought Gorman. A lot of that be competitive. Daniel Dubois just breezed through him. Obviously, he stopped Ebenezer Tete in a round, and now he's knocked out Fujimoto in two rounds. Dubois is a problem. He's going to be a serious problem in the heavyweight division. Mark my words. I've been keen on this kid since I first seen him. I've been thinking, this kid, he's got something. He just has something that's ticking the boxes. Every time I see him, he just ticks more boxes. He's picked up a WBC silver heavyweight title. You may remember Dylan White had that title for a while. So, Dubois is going to be quite highly ranked by the WBC as well as the WBO. So, it'd be interesting to see what they do with him in the new year. But, Daniel Dubois, from what I've seen, appears to be a problem. The punch and power is evident. And, yeah, he's ticking more and more boxes for me. As I said, Fujimoto, not exactly the greatest fighter in the world, by no stretch of the imagination. But whenever I see Dubois, I just become more and more impressed with him. So those are my thoughts on this. Let me know what you think down below. What a knockout, I have to say. I just want to say before I end this video, there was an absolute clown in the comment section of two of my videos. These are post-fight reviews. It's stated that there's no footage. All right, It's stated everywhere in the goddamn video. So if you keep coming on my channel saying that I'm a fraud for not putting highlights in, you're just going to get straight blocked, me. So either don't comment, watch the video, or don't watch it at all. So those are my thoughts on this. Let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe, of course, if you're new. And as always, I will talk to you after.